I changed the transmission fluid in my 2017 Accord some weeks back and today I'll be doing another crucial maintenance item which is replacing the transmission filter. Now this is something that some argue isn't a maintenance item on this car but I'm OCD about maintenance and I also believe that all filters will eventually get clogged if you keep the car long enough and they don't get changed. Now let's get this. Here are all the parts you're going to need. The replacement filter, I decided to get the OEM. I don't want to take any chances with this one. I also got these three O-rings that you're going to replace as well, which you're going to see when we get started. For the 2013 to 2017 Accord, the filter is located in the transmission fluid warmer, which is beneath the battery. And so the battery would have to come out. You also need to remove the battery tray as well to get to the filter. For extra room, I also removed this air intake dock. The battery tray is the next thing that needs to come off and it's held by five bolts on the top side including this one that also doubles to hold the air box once the bolts are out i'll then follow up and remove the other bolt for the air box since i'll be removing the whole air box assembly as one unit i'll disconnect the math sensor connector loosen the clamp for the intake hose and then take out the whole assembly you definitely need to take off the air box to be able to get to the next set of bolts which are under the battery tray for best practice i'll just plug the intake hose with this rag also since the math sensor is now exposed in this airbox assembly i'll just put it into the car so that dust doesn't settle on it next we'll start getting to the bolts that are under the battery tray connecting the battery tray to the lower portion of the air intake duct is this 10 millimeter bolt you loosen that and take the bolt out this one that i'm loosening here is ground this is a 10 millimeter bolt once i take it out there are two more bolts that you need to get to for these two bolts they're both 12 millimeters and you don't really need to loosen it all the way you just need to slacken it as the battery tray hooks into it i'm able to reach them through the left side of the battery tray and with this one slackened here's the shot of the next one which is difficult to show you from up top and so i'm showing you the bolt from beneath so in total it's 12 bolts that you need to undo and i begin to remove the battery tray this needed a bit of wiggling and then i realized i left the last bolt on which is also ground which i quickly take off here before opening the transmission fluid warmer i decided to do a bit of sanitation in order not to introduce any contamination to the transmission the warmer is held by three bolts two you can see here while there's one beneath which you're mostly going to do by feel. I break the two at the top free and also follow up by taking out the third one. Now some fluid is going to spill and so I move in my drain pan and tuck a rag beneath the transmission warmer and finally with a gentle tug the warmer separates from the transmission. Right away I notice that there's some corrosion on the mating surface and so using a scotch bright pad and some cab cleaner I begin to scrub that off. It took a bit of time but I got there in the end and while doing that the bigger o-ring came loose which is good because i'm changing it anyway i then use a pick to remove the smaller one finally using the same pick i pull the transmission filter out and it also has an o-ring and here's the old and the new side by side time to prep the new filter and so i lube up the new o-ring and install it i also get the other two new o-rings and loop them up using transmission fluid i insert the new filter into its housing you're going to push it in until you hear a click i install the larger of the o-rings making sure it sits in place and then follow up with the smaller one which i also sit in place and then i reinstall the transmission fluid warmer i wasn't able to find any torque specification for these three bolts but i snugged them up just given the fact that the o-rings are going to do their job if you do happen to know the torque specs for these three bolts please give me a shout in the comments for a bit of maintenance using this wd-40 degreaser i degreased the whole area since there was a bit of transmission spill during the process you don't need to top up the transmission fluid the spill is minimal and now i can say that my transmission is definitely happier for me one of the reasons why i'm doing this is that i keep cars for a bit long also there are just some things i don't trust manufacturers on i'd rather have my own schedule for additional peace of mind but let me know what you think in the comments is this something you would necessarily do or just go with what the manufacturer says don't forget to like share and subscribe if this has been helpful and i'll catch you on the next one peace